Today's video is a thank you to Alpha Cool and Mod My Mods. I'm gonna explain here in a second what happened, but I made a mistake, I screwed up, and they decided to fix it. And all I wanna do is say thanks. Okay, first off, I have not been able to make a video the last couple of weeks because I've been insanely busy between work, um, some uh, sports stuff that's been going on for my daughters. Uh, it just, I've been crazy busy. So um, I wanted to touch on something last week that I couldn't actually talk about just because I couldn't get a video made uh, and that I'm still going to make a video on because I feel very bad in doing it this way, but I promised I would do a shout out to um, Alpha Cool and to uh, Mod by Mods. So here's what happened. Um, about two months ago, approximately, give or take, um, I was getting ready to do some maintenance on Genesis, my main build. And um, the reason why, I'm, I'm going to go over this in a video coming up because I still have to do this maintenance. I just don't have time today. I'm hoping to next week. But between appointments and everything else, Tuesday's my only day off, uh, I just run out of time. And something like this is going to take a little bit of time. Um, my uh, pet here, and I'm going to uh, switch to this real quick. My pet here, this guy, Mr. Kyle. Hi, Kyle. How are you? He thinks that anything that is on the floor is for him to put in his mouth and eat, literally. So I had I was getting some fitting set up. I had uh, had some um, of these Alpha Cool um, compression fittings for 13 millimeter hard tubing. Specifically, it's the brass tube stuff, and, and I'll show you why here in a second. But I did something I don't usually do, and I don't. I just wasn't thinking. I had started taking out the uh, fittings, taking out the um, washers and such, and I'll show you that right here, uh, which are several, there's a brass fitting, there is a, like a plastic fitting, and O-rings, and I was taking them apart, just getting them ready so that I could, in my mind, quickly uh, do this maintenance once I had my machine torn down. Well, and I had pictures of this, I'm, I'm a little frustrated, I can't find them, I'm guessing they got deleted somehow, but um, Kyle, when I went to run a quick errand, and I decided to leave them out because I was just having one of those days. Uh, Kyle decided that he should eat some, if not almost all of them, or chew what he could. Now, he didn't eat the physical fittings, the large fittings, even though he could have easily gotten them swallowed. He decided to eat and destroy all of the little pieces because apparently they felt good in his mouth. After talking to Josh at Mod My Mods, um, mind you, I, I went to Mod My Mods after I had gone on to Alpha Cool's site to try to find these, which should be very inexpensive uh, washers, um, and they don't have them for sale, uh, as well as going on their forum and not getting a solution there through their tech support and not really getting any response from their tech support. I reached out to uh, Mod My Mods, and he spoke to his rep with Alpha Cool, who thought the story was not only amusing, but uh, unfortunate because 36 of these fittings are very expensive. Um, which is about what I have in my system. I actually have 34 or 33 fittings in use right now. So, but regardless, 36 of these fittings are very expensive. Well, they um, were kind enough to not just send me the parts, but they sent me 36 fittings. Actually, the chrome ones. So I got 36 of these, 12 of these. Which, that's insane because if you do the math at approximately $8.50 to $9 per fitting, it's a lot of money. And all they asked for was that I simply do a shout out for some great customer service, which they obviously gave me, and um, say thank you. And I am going to do a, another video with this and showing these all installed, but I want to show you why. These are such a big deal, and what it is that Kyle ate. Okay, what makes these fittings so special? Well, I'm gonna go over a couple things here. Right now, in Genesis, I have approximately, it's 33 or 34, I have to recount. 
of these. They're called the Primo Chill Revolver SX Rigid Fielding, uh, Rigid Fielding, Fittings, Fieldings. Wow, I can't talk today. Rigid Fittings. Thank you. Um, and just so you can see what they are, they're just the half inch outer diameter. They're in color dark nickel. Now, we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, I like the dark nickel. They part, they match it very well with what I use for my angled fittings, which are the Bits Power uh, 90 degree rotaries. But the idea behind these, before I get into the next one, is very simple. They're a compression push in fitting, if you will. So you take your your uh, rigid tube in the situation, these are half inch outer diameter, and you put the O-ring on it. And hopefully you're smart enough when you're in the system to do it correctly, but slide it down and you tighten it down, right? I'm not gonna tighten it, well, yeah, I'll just tighten it here. So when you tighten it on, the idea is this compression here is pushing that O-ring against this and making a nice seal. Now it's decent, but I want to show you something. Use some pressure in the system and it does, it can, not that it does, but it can pop out. Mm, I don't want to say fairly easily, but um, it can pop out, which I actually have a couple on my system right now that I find to be not as tight as I would like them to be. So I was watching a video uh, by Jay's Two Cents when he was doing his new build and he's using brass tubing in there. And he was talking about the fact that he really likes the Primo Chill uh, fittings because of how snug a fit they, they do offer for what they are. And, and honestly, they do offer a nice fit. But then he was talking about the stuff that Alpha Cool had sent them. And what Alpha Cool sent was these fittings that they they come individually wrapped and what they have are these three pieces on the inside, and then they have, you know, the collar. So here's what comes in a fitting. You have your base, you have your O-ring, that is what is compressed to give you the seal and make sure that there's uh, not an issue. And I'm not sure how well you can see here on the camera, but on the inside, not focusing very well. There's another O-ring in there to get a really nice seal. And here's a thought. You have your brass fitting, brass notch collar fitting here first, Teflon fitting, rubber O-ring. All right. Let's put it down here closer. And again, kind of twist it in on there. All right. And what this does is this creates such a tight seal against it that, and now mind you, this is a half inch diameter, uh, outer diameter, which is approximately 12.7 millimeters. This is a 13 millimeter fitting. So if you had 13 millimeter tubing, imagine how this is going to grasp. But you can see with even smaller tube than, like this thing is, oh my gosh, this is, uh, you can pull it. Not that I'd suggest doing that, but there's so much clamping force on this thing. And again, this is a half inch outer diameter, which is technically smaller than a 13 millimeter fitting, which would give you an even more snug fit, um, that this is just not gonna come out under pressure. So I wanted to switch out my system to these. While I know it's not perfect with regards to color match. And that's the only comment I'm going to make. And I don't want to have it sound as a negative comment, just a comment in general. They give you two color options. They give you black and they give you this chrome, or silver, whatever you want to call it. I believe they technically call it chrome. Yes. And that's that. So you have the two options. I wish I had a few more options. I really wish I had like a black chrome or a dark nickel as uh, this is called. Uh, it matches up very nicely with the black chrome that uh, Bits Power has. So it gives you a lot more uh, flexibility, if you will. In theory, you could, I suppose, take these and go in here, but I don't, I've, these, the tolerances are so tight 
that I don't think I'd suggest doing that. Um, again, that's just, I don't think it's always uh, best to mix match uh, items from different fittings. But anyway, that's what makes these things special. And that's what is such a big deal about these. So like I said, I wanted to do better justice than just saying, thank you, Alpha Cool. Thank you, Mod My Mods, for your help on this. So that's why I'm going to do this in two parts. This one, to say the thank you, because they did do this for me uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I just have not physically had the time to redo the system, do the maintenance, and then put these in to show you how they work and how amazing they are. I'm going to. So that'll be a second time I'm going to say thank you to Alpha Cool and to Mod My Mods for their help. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share that short story um, and to show you what's coming up. These fittings are pretty dang cool. What they are called, I'm going to link them up here. I'm going to put a, a, a picture of them on the screen so you can see what they are. But they are called the Alpha Cool iZappen 13 millimeter hard tube compression fitting G and a quarter for brass tubes. This one specifically is called knurled comb. Um, the part number for the, the silver one or the chrome ones are 17431. The part number for the black ones are 17432. Now they do have their standard um, compression fittings uh, as well, but they don't come with the, um, uh, the brass clamping O-ring as well as that uh, Teflon uh, ring, which really provides a lot of extra grip or hold on the fitting. Um, anyway, I want to put those in the in the description below. Uh, again, you'll see it here on the screen. And I just want to say thank you. Um, really, uh, Mod My Mods, Josh, for reaching out to um, uh, Alpha Cool. That was very cool of you. You didn't have to do that. I really appreciate it. That was amazing customer service. Um, all I can say is thank you. Uh, and hopefully the people that have watched this view uh, will go to Mod by Mods. I'm going to link that down below for you to view their uh, inventory. I've got a, a couple of computers that I've actually went ahead and had them do uh, a mod on, if you will. I had them do uh, their mesh screens on the front of my uh, uh, oldest daughter's computer, as well as on the front of my uh, Genesis system. Uh, and I'll show you a couple pictures of that here as well. Um, but definitely go to their sites, check them out, uh, check out Alpha Cool. Uh, I'm going to link them below as well, as they've got some very, very high quality water cooling parts, uh, even more so now than they have in the past couple of years. It seems like their quality control is vastly improved. I, I use their uh, radiators. Uh, I've got their fittings. I've, I've just used a lot of their stuff and I find them to be very high quality. And I also find that their quality control is very good. You don't get a lot of very strange variances like, and no offense to Primo Chill, but that you can get with Primo Chill fittings where I've had, you know, their half inch outer diameter fittings that don't fit with their tubes because of quality control or variances in product production. Um, anyway, hopefully today you liked the video. Give them a shout out. Um, Again, it's just nothing but appreciated. Uh, if you liked today's video, hit that thumbs up for me. If you didn't, you know what else to do. Hopefully it's not that. Uh, hit that subscribe button for me as that really does help the channel. And leave content uh, comments for content you like coming up. And again, thank you. Have a great week. See you next. Bye.